hello. Um, I wanted to read you guys a couple scriptures that the Lord led on my heart. If it wasn't for a good friend of mine, I wouldn't have found this. Um, it just came to me. Um, and I'm sorry I'm sick. So, just bear with me. Um, God, guide the words of my mouth, the words of my mind, the words of my heart, the words of my soul. May I not lead anyone, Father God, astray. May every word that comes from my mouth be instilled through the Holy Spirit. Father God, give me the words of understanding. Father God, and, and be, be the words that I speak so they may understand and hear. Open the eyes of the blind. Open the ears of the deaf. In Jesus' name, I plead the blood of Jesus over this. Amen. Okay, I'm going to read in Second Peter um, 2, verse 18. And um, on through a couple scriptures, it says, For when they speak great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through lewdness, the ones who have actually escaped from those who live in error. Okay, uh, lewdness, you know, allure, you're bringing people in, you're reeling them in, okay? Um, they are the ones that are speaking um, things, okay, here, I'll, this will explain it, verse 19. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are slaves of corruption. For by whom a person is overcome, by him also he is brought into bondage. Okay, do you understand what this means? That means um, right now we have a ton of people believing in a man that is going to lead this country back to where it needs to be. Okay, I'm not sitting here saying that he's a bad guy. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that I don't trust him because of what the Bible tells me. Um, I'm also telling, saying that what he has been speaking is freedom to the people. He has been, he's been signing all these executive orders one right after another. Bam, 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 bam. It's exactly what Hitler did and exactly what oh, um, Trump said, that he is going to give the people what they want. Did he not say that? He did. Okay, and when they speak words, it says that they are speaking swelling words of emptiness. They're building up all this, and it has nothing in it. Okay, um, it's it's almost like a pointless. You know, it's like you get a a, a gumball with no gum in it, no no nerd like a nerd's gumball, and there's nothing in it. It's it's pointless. You know, you wasted your money and your time and your effort on putting it in the machine to receive that. Okay, and he's speaking anything and everything that he can to give the people that he wants. So when he gets as many people as he wants, he can betray them, as other scriptures say, which I'm not here for that. But, okay, and then through him, what does he do? He gives, he's, he's freedom. Everyone's, oh, free, free. But inside, he's not, he doesn't have the heart of God, so he is in bondage. Okay, which means he's still chained up. He is in danger of um, being left and it says for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ they are again entangled in them and overcome the latter end is worse for them than the beginning okay so if you start off okay being um, not knowing Christ okay and and then later on, you accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, and you knew about the end times and what was to come. Um, your punishment will be worse for knowing and not doing anything about it. You, you say to me, and if you get left behind because of your own free will. Okay, now this this is this part really, really, really got me. Okay, okay, um, chapter three of Second Peter. Um, Verses 3 through 6. Okay. Knowing this first, that scoffers will come in the last days, walking according to their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willfully forget. That by the word of God, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, 
by which the world had, that then existed perished, being flooded with water. Okay, um, what are they doing now? We have sat there and spoken and spoken and spoken to these people um, about how Trump is this delusion. They have fallen mm -hmm. asleep. Many people think that just because Trump is in, that judgment is held off. No, this is the time of false peace. Okay, this is a time where people are falling asleep. And what does it say? For this, they willfully forget everything that which uh, knowledge and stuff was from the beginning of time. Okay, and, and it specifically says in Matthew 24 that as were the days of Noah, where they were eating, drinking, given into marriage, right? They, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. It's when they fell asleep, they were not looking. They they mocked Noah. They scoffed him. They didn't want to hear anything he had to say. That's the exact same thing that these people are doing right now. Okay? And the world exists of the old. So everything that was brought in the old um, is nothing new, if that makes sense. The stuff new that we're figuring out is the stuff of the old. Because all prophecy is old, but yet... Um, we were sent forward into time just to go back into time. Okay, it's like we went through Genesis to Revelation and now we're going from Revelation back to Genesis. Which, you know, we're actually going into the book of Revelation. But my point is that do not fall asleep. Do not let your hearts be hardened. Because that is, this is exactly what these people are doing. These Trump supporters do not understand that when they are sitting there saying, Oh, well, if you don't support him, that you're not going to be blessed. And God's not going to bless you. And that, you know, you're supposed to pray for your leaders and everything else. That's what the Bible says. Little do they realize that what they are doing, they are fulfilling prophecy out of their own lust willfully God has showed them through scripture exactly what was supposed to happen at this time and they are not paying attention they are not awake they do not care because they have blind eyes and deaf ears and that's exactly what God said is going to happen okay and it says right here uh, of three um, okay uh, blah, 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 it says uh, therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will welt, melt with the fervent of heat. We know that this earth and everything is going to pass away, but what of that? What is that manner that is so-called holy? It's a person. What is that person that's trying to bring in that? It would be Trump, the delusion, okay? And it says, verse 17, You therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, be aware, lest you also fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked. Okay, we were given so much knowledge about what was to come, okay? Because our eyes are opened and our ears are open. We're able to hear and see what's coming. Okay? They cannot. Because they, they are looking. This person, quote unquote, has spoke such lies mm -hmm. to them that they set off this aura. And I know, biblically speaking, that that is what they are going to do. Because um, they're like Satan. He draws you, he sends off this spirit, okay, that draws you to him. But if you are not a follower of Christ, you're going to fall into that temptation because you don't, you don't know how, okay? But since being a Christian, when you accept Christ and stuff and you get it, being born again, actually being a Christian, being born again, or or it's the same thing, but it's different because in order to be born again, you have to be instilled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's where your knowledge increases. That's where your understanding and um, your wisdom. Okay, and when you seek God first, highest above all else, he will give you clear understanding of the Bible. I'm not falling into the trap of this Trump, okay? And then this wall and everything he's going to build, or so-called, quote-unquote, if he even builds it, it could be 
as many scriptures say in Ezekiel and Jeremiah and Isaiah, it says that he, with this wall force, that it would be a great army. It is to trap us in. And it, he's reeling in as many people as he can. Okay? Just so he can what? Destroy them once they're in the palm of his hand. Because the, what? So now the Obamas, he's not out of the way, out of the way, all the way. But he's out of the picture right at the second as president. Okay? So when I said that he is, you know, going to get a third term, I believe he still is. But it's not going to be in the term that we think it's going to be. As him being the beast, the first beast has to move out of the way for the second beast. But he is only a filler for a short period of time. So uh, when he entices everybody, you know, speaking this false peace, as God says was going to happen, that is when the destruction will happen, as in what? Thessalonians, it says. You know, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. That's exactly what he's doing. And yes, the Bible's double fulfillment. And yes, there's other scriptures talking about it. Yes, it could mean other things, but this is what it has been led to me. So pray over this. Um, I, I just wanted to say this stuff real quick. Um, there will be more to come. And um, I just hope and pray that uh, the Holy Spirit will be instilled in you and... Uh, that you'll be able to understand that we are in the very last days. Jesus is about to return. Do not fall asleep. Do not harden your hearts. Do not close your ears. Do not close your eyes. Because the second that you do is when you will get left behind. And that is worse than anything. Okay. And it says right here. Okay. Um. No, it says in. Uh, da, 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 give me just a second. Uh. Um, all right, uh, Peter, was it second Peter or first Peter? This is second Peter four by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises that through these you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And what did that scripture just tell us that he will entice people through lust of the flesh because of his spirit that he gives off. If you love Jesus Christ, you're going to be drawn to him because of his spirit. Okay? If you are not fully grounded in the word and your roots have not been fully planted and you are not able to stand, it's like this pen. You can't take it apart. Okay? Right now, you have to unscrew it. This is me. This is the bride of Christ, the watchman who's actually watching, waiting, and paying attention. This right here are those who are not fully grounded. You go to use it and you're like, oh, I can't. Why can't I use it? And you're trying to figure it out, figure it out. And I'm over here saying, hey, you got to screw the top on. No, I don't think it's that. No, I don't think it's that. Well, when in reality, the truth is right in front of your eyes. Okay? God bless you guys. Have a great night.